Hello you guys, it is Jake and welcome back to my channel. Wow, it feels like I haven't been sitting down filming a video for you guys that's like makeup related in so long. But I'm back better than ever. I was feeling a little bit under the weather for a couple of days, so it's kind of where I've been at. I partied too hard on my mom's birthday, apparently. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be about this 90s beauty book by Profusion, um, and it has eyes and faces. So it says 25 eyeshadows, one highlighter, one blush, and one bronzer. Um, so this is what it looks like. And the palette itself seems to be like, like it's very 90s. Like there are very, very like 90s colors in here. And because the 90s are making a comeback, I thought I would do a look with these guys right here. And I'm aiming for like a very fall like sort of look. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just get right into it because I feel like I spend so much time talking that my videos are like, an hour plus long. All right, so let's go in with some moisturizer. So I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel, just to kind of give my face a nice starting point. I'm gonna now go into the ELF Luminous Putty Primer. Um, I just found this. Um, I had lost it for a little bit, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on like what I feel are my problem areas and just kind of smooth it in. And with this, you really want to press it into the skin because it is supposed to be more of like a pore filling primer. For some added hydration, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Cucumber Primer Water. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Foundation. Not because I need a full coverage foundation, but just because, because I don't remember how I feel. Um, that's why I honestly love doing YouTube videos um, because I feel like I can always go back and see how I feel about a product because it's like on the internet. Um, but with this, I got this before I started doing YouTube. And so I don't remember how I feel about it. So let's go ahead and blend. Actually, let's go in with a stippling brush. This is the Sedona 8. 13 brush. This is a really big stippling brush. For a concealer, I've really, really honestly been enjoying this um, L'Oreal Age Perfect uh, Concealer in 220 Warm Beige. I'm just going to blend this out really quick and I'll be back after I set everything. So for my brows, I'm going to do them off camera, but I did want to tell you guys what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Browsings from Benefit and it's just like a brow powder. And then I'm also going to set... I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Flower Light and Illusion Perfecting Powder. And that'll hopefully make me look less yellow than I look right now. So that looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and prime our eyelids and go in with our eyeshadow palette. So to prime my lids, I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This is actually really, really good. I've been using it um, even on days where I'm not filming as a really good eye base. So, if you can get your hands on it, this is really hard to get your hands on. Ulta always sells out of it, so if you can get your hands on it, it's a really good product. So here's the palette. They give you a little brush. I don't know if I mentioned this is a Profusion um, palette, but they give you a little brush. It feels soft. Um, it's definitely a smaller, like, tapered brush, so I don't know how much use I would get out of this, um, except for, like, placement, but um, it's always good to have, like, little fluffy brushes lying around. These are very cool tone shades. And I think I want this guy, this guy right here on my lid. It's like a very like brown coppery shade. So I'm kind of going to go around that color scheme. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with this orange shade right here. And I'm going to pop this guy into my crease and blend it upwards and really focus on making sure that the color is there. And it's just like a rustic orange brown almost. And I feel like it's gonna come up, yep. It's coming up very orange. It's like that perfect like pumpkin spice sort of color. And it's very pigment. So far it's not coming out as like patchy or anything like that. And I'm not having like a super hard time blending. And especially when I'm going in with a palette that I don't know what it's like, like what the pigment's like or anything like that. I like to go in with an eye base that I already know works. And I'll go in with that to make sure that whatever the eyes do kind of look like, they can perform the best that they possibly can. Also, you guys, I'm so sorry if you hear construction noises in the back because literally there's construction going on. And like like down the street, 
like to this side so i feel like every single time i record a video it gets so hot in this room especially with like all the lights and stuff it gets so incredibly hot in here and i have to have like either the window open or i have to have like my little fan on but the fan makes a lot more noise and we live on like we live off of the street so there's always so much noise in the back of all of my videos it's actually quite annoying but i'm sorry bear with me hopefully they like finish up soon um i don't know if that's gonna happen or not okay so that looks great thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this shade right next to it it's more of like a softer orangey brown again it's a little bit on the like it's a little bit more brown than the other one so i'm gonna take this and the brush that i'm using is a morphe 441 brush and i'm gonna take this on the outer edge and then kind of blend it into my crease but i'm not taking it too inward i'm just kind of keeping it on the outskirts and then kind of just blending whatever excess i have up into my crease i really do love fall because i feel like fall is just one of those things i love jewel tones and um i am um filming another video where it's like all about like fall fashion and like staples that you need but i love fall fashion fall fashion is hands down some of my favorite because everything is so like you're in that transitionary period so everything is like jewel tones and like really rich pigmented colors and i love that okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into like this chocolatey brown like this milk chocolatey chocolatey brown and i'm gonna take it on the same brush it's kind of like it almost has like a maroon hint to it and i'm gonna take this on the same brush I'm just tapping off any of my excess and then I'm just gonna focus this really like on the outer edge and I'm not bringing this up into the crease just on the outer outer edge and just kind of focusing it right there and once I'm satisfied with the placement I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna kind of blend it in circular motions right there just like that just a little bit of dimension a little hit of like, oh, okay, so you can kind of tell the difference between the two. So I think that's all I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna do anything above like that. I just kinda want it to be like more of like a neutral sort of like transition. Um and so now we're just gonna take a flat tip brush, any flat tip brush. It does not matter what kind of flat tip brush it is. And we're gonna go into that coppery shade that I was telling you about earlier, this one right here. This is like I'm using a Sedona 954 brush any flat brush will do this is like more of a gold bronze shade and i'm just gonna pack this guy on that's such a pretty shade all right that's what it's looking so far or looking like so far let's go ahead and quickly do our lower lash line so i'm gonna take this is a zoeva luxe brow light brush and i'm just gonna take that first orange shade that we took and i'm just gonna smudge it on my lower lash line and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that last brown that we put down and just kind of smudge it on the outskirts I, I don't I, I was thinking of doing something else with the eyes I don't think I want to I think I just want to leave it like that because that's a very soft look um, and it's very full go ahead and dust off any excess um, eyeshadow so to be real with you the only eyeshadow that really was that crumbly was the um the shadow that i packed on my lid which was a shimmer shade so shimmer shades usually are a little bit more crumbly but it's not so much so that it's like oh my god it's ruining my face makeup so that's that's pretty good and let's go ahead and take um actually let's go ahead and take the bronzer blush and highlight that are in here um just just for fun because why not so i'm just gonna take some of the bronzer with my face secrets brush i think for someone like me that's a very subtle um contour but it could work oh that's shaping up actually really nicely it's not patchy which that's always my qualm with like palettes like this is because usually the bronzer is like patchy and i'm like no ma'am i'm gonna go in with the blush the blush seems really pigmented it's just like a little soft hit it does have some shimmer in it so if you do have like some um texture i would stay away from it but it does look nice 
Let's go in with the highlight, and this is, I'm using a Luxie 522 um, tapered highlight brush. For the um, blush, I used a Wet n Wild, like, large um, powder brush. Ooh, the highlight's actually really pretty. I'm kind of going lightly on the, on the highlight, but it does look really good. Like, it's like a very, like, wet sort of highlight. It's not emphasizing any sort of texture, which I really, really like, because my biggest, like, pet peeve with like highlighters is that they some, some of them emphasize so much texture that it's like oh no that's off putting say hi to the people look at how big she's gotten she's gotten so big since like the last time she was on camera thank you thank you I'm gonna go in with this this is the Valgian Labs matte makeup setting spray and then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine um, Setting Mist. And I'm gonna go in with this. All right, you guys, so here's the final look. Let me know what you guys wanna see from me um, and what you guys thought of this video. This palette I got actually got at five below dollars. This is a really good beginner palette. It's a very good on the budget palette. Profusion usually makes pretty decent palettes. I would highly recommend this palette um, just because it has a very versatile use. Um, this is something that you could definitely travel with because it has all the neutrals that you might need. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what other kinds of videos you guys want to see from me because I'd be more than happy to create them for you. I am, you know, I've been kind of MIA and I've been kind of creating um, content like behind the scenes a little bit more. I haven't been interacting as much as I possibly can. So I'm here, I'm feeling better. I'm trying to be as 100% as I possibly can. So from now on, I'm trying, I'm going to make a conscious effort to be more present in all of this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. You are helping my dreams come true. And I will see you in a video super, super soon. Bye, guys.